you could feel the spirit of the Lord here. The pastors were just phenomenal. It was a great event. This was a fantastic event. We enjoyed every second of it. Speakers were great, food was amazing, and just such a blessing to feel like someone wants to be a blessing to us. So, thank you. I enjoyed this very much today. Being a missionary to India myself, I appreciate any time we have a platform where we can find out what's going on in the Christian community. It's really exciting. I appreciate all the people that put this together for us. So thank you very much. Does God still do miracles today? Whenever I'm asked, I immediately say yes, absolutely. I can't wait to come back next year because family life today is fabulous. I want to say thank you to KPRZ for uh, just really putting an arm around pastors and letting them know how much all of us love them. And uh, they're doing a great work in the city of San Diego, in this community, and uh, you know, for our little part, for Focus on the Family, to stand alongside KPRZ to say, we love you pastors. Jim Daly always does a great job of sharing his life and how it intersects with families and people. So what a great event. Thank you for K-Praise. Thank you for the witness of K-Praise in our community and across the length and breadth of this country and even the world. I'd love to come back next year. Who wouldn't want to come back to San Diego? My name is Nazareth. I was born in the city of Nazareth in Israel. And it's a family tradition to name you after the city. I feel sorry for my brother Y. Kiki, my other brother Al Bakarki, and my sister Buffalo. Today's event presented by Phil Liberatory, the CPA, IRS problem solvers right over here. He cleaned his plate, ate all of his veggies. Also, I want to thank our sponsors, our good friends, Mehran Aram and his team at Aramco Mortgage, the reverse mortgage specialists, uh, Cape and Kraus LLP, Christians United for Israel, the San Diego Christian Film Festival, that's going to be a great event, Israel Ministry of Tourism, Talking Bibles International, Disneyland Youth Group. Oh boy! Yeah, we love Disneyland! The Story, Read the Story, Experience the Bible, Alpha USA San Diego. Wow, they've already had their dessert and pots of coffee and Koinonia Family Services. And I've also heard that, that every time you applaud, you burn off 10 calories. Thank you. We believe that He is the visible image of the invisible God. For by Him all things are created, things in heaven, things on earth, both visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things are made by him and for him. He's above all things. He's before all things. And because of him, everything is held together. It is so good to be with you, Ron. Thank you so much. And I've known Ron for a long time and all the folks at Salem. And they really mean it when they say they're here to put an arm around you. Just love on you. Amen. Amen. I knew there was somebody here from Japan, right? Japan Ministry, where's that? Where are you folks? Hey, konnichiwa. Ogigi desu ka? Ah, dozo. Kyotsukete ne? I sat with Nelson Mandela in his cabinet. I was in Malaysia and Indonesia and yes, even China. And every one of them said to me in a different way, as long as you're here to support the family, the family's the basic building block of the society, we'll help you. God reached down through people. My football coach, pastors, that my football coach took me to church, and that made a huge difference in me. I mean, I saw the love of Christ through these men and women around me. You guys are doing that too.
some little boy or little girl or teenager in your church that's looking at you probably isn't saying much but is watching you and they're asking themselves in their heart is this real is this faith real do they really believe what they're saying the book stronger i talk about a couple of other stories that encouraged me uh, one was David Works. You may know the story of David Works. He was the, the man, the family in the parking lot at New Life Church in Colorado Springs. Finished church, I think they're be between the second and third service, and David and his family came out of the second service to go home. They're getting in their van, and all of a sudden he hears thud, something hit the, the van, and it was a, a man with a machine gun shooting at them. And they go down. His two teenage daughters were hit, a third teenage daughter in the car, and his wife. And he said to his one teenage daughter, I'm right here, Daddy's right here. And she whispered back, it's okay, Daddy, I'm here. I've been shot, but it's okay, Daddy, I know you can't move. Within an hour, she died. And you sit there and you think, and I don't know all the things that have happened in your life, each one of you, but the strength of the works family to come out of that and say, you know what, we still believe in Christ. Not only that, but our faith is stronger. I have great hope for this country. I have great hope for our faith. We need to be people of hope, do we not? And I love in the book of Romans what Paul is saying. You know what, and I lived it, and I think many of you have too. Suffering leads to what? Perseverance. Perseverance what? Character. And what does character produce? Hope. Hope in Christ. And I'm telling you what, as an orphan kid who got beat up and left behind, I can only say my only hope has been in Christ. And you know what? People are watching us. Our marriages are a witness to the world. They're watching yours. As leaders in the community, pastors' marriages, we need to pray for you because your marriages need to be a model. And the world desperately needs to see that it's working. And you're living in a bubble, right? And it's hard. People don't like the way you painted the church. They don't like the carpet that you picked. And they don't like the way your kids are, you know, their faces aren't clean enough on Sunday. Man, lead in that. Say, you know what? I'm not worried about my kid. I'm not worried about the wall. What I know is that I love my wife and I love my family. And I would encourage you to do the same. And that will, yeah, amen. And I think that, you want to talk about turning around a culture, let's start there. The 21st century is going to become the first century again. They're looking at us. Are we ready? What did the first, second, third century do? They took care of those around them, didn't they? Orthopraxy. They did the word. And we've got to do that again. And I thank the Lord for each one of you. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us today. God bless you in what you're doing. And remember, God is for you. And he loves you. God bless you. See you guys, God bless you.